Gonna do a video here for the install this new NMS 300 digital readout, three axis kit to go on with Bridgeport. There she is. Just thought I'd show you the kit. So this is where I got it from, machinedro.co.uk. These are the scales, Ferrison scales. I believe they are three of them. We've got the mounting arm here for the display, which is here. It looks really nice. There's your connections and your power connection, and then a mounted stud for that, which goes onto there. We've got boxes. That's just nuts and bolts. You get one pack for each scale. I'll just open them up and put them all in there. And then in this box here, these are all the mounting pins and holders, etc. For the scales, there's enough there for all three scales. I'll show you the scales. Here's one of them. This is the shorter one for the wire. So they're completely sealed. I think they've got ball bearings in them and they read off the bearings inside somehow. I'm not sure how it works exactly, but it works. And then, yeah, this one's for the wire. So we'll be being mounted along there somewhere, as we can. Put that back there. And then these are the brackets. Now I've got two lots of brackets here, because this lot come with a kit, this first one. And from watching other people's videos, like Adam Booth, Abom 79 he done an install on a, it's a different make a milling machine but it's just still Bridgeport clone and it's a slightly different DRO but it should be the same brackets and he had this type of bracket with a radius now I didn't get these I got this with a kit and after looking on Newell's website I noticed that I had the wrong brackets because on their website they've got installation instructions and this is shown as the cross axis milling machines first and scales showing you these brackets with some angle and a spacer and mounting it on the underside of the edge of the saddle which I looked at and I attempted to get you a bit of light in there but the underside of the saddle here this isn't very flat let's get this light somewhere better you can see it that's not very really good yeah, this isn't very flat under here, so it's not the ideal mounting point because it's, it may not look too bad, but it's angled. Anyway, so I phoned them back and said, that's the wrong kit. They said, no, it isn't. And then I went on the website, showed them their own photos. And went, oh yeah, yes it is. So then they sent out this bracket. So you have this one here, which will mount, I probably can't see that very well, but it'll mount on the side there. And then your reader head will come off of here. So if you buy one of these, be aware that they may send you that kit when really if it's Bridgeport specific, you want this one. But you can make that work. It's just, I thought to myself, I'll just ring back and wait for the other kit. So yeah, you see the differences. Their generic brackets to their Bridgeport versions and how they mount be a bit different. With the other axis, this one's for the X. This is Bridgeport again and shows it slightly different to the X axis on their generic kit. The only one which stays the same is the setup for the knee. So just something to be aware of if you're ordering, or you might not even care, like say so you can make it work, but um, I prefer that bracket with the radius cut out of it to go on the side of the saddle. So there's the kit. I'll, uh, I'll just cut the videos and put them together so you're not watching too much of the boring stuff and uh, we'll show you it being fitted. See you in a bit. So we've got to try bits, ready to drill and tap the brackets. So I think pretty much all you need on these, you've got metric taps M4, M5, M6 and M8 and then the drill bits, you've got some of these ratchet taps to go in there, that one's a bit bigger for the M8, I'm not sure if the M8 will fit in there, probably will do. And then just to shamp the holes, tape measure and a bit of cutting oil. And then, yeah, we'll get ready to put 
this bracket on there like so but do sort of favour and move this right out of the way because you've got to get under there with your drill to centre punch and drill and tap that there so let's get that under there now I have already probably can't see it there, let's get the light it's difficult you can see there I've just sent a punch to one hole already just for that to sit there and then I'm going to drill and tap this one get one in place and then I'll line it up and do the other one come back to you when that's done So we've got the saddle brackets mounted and the reader head on there as you can see there so you've got the radius bracket radius bracket there with like a spacer bar in between and then the reader head and then with the cable coming out of the rear so we'll get on to getting it within that two foul now so we'll get the dial indicator on there and get it squared up right so we've got this side one on and mounted and we've got the indicator on there so we're on zero there let's bring it across sorry for the shaky camera and then as we come up back onto the bottom surface and there we are that's half a foul it says they're machine surfaces they're not really but that's what it's telling you to go off in the guide tells you to go off them bottom pieces here on these ones it's saying to go off of the black part so yeah we can test off of them faces and tolerance was too foul and that's within half you can actually if you go just on the edge it will go there so show you back to the other side quick And there. So that's that one mounted and done. Just to mount up the scale next. So we get onto that. See you in a sec. So I've got the scale bar rested inside the reader head there and I've put this side in now I did already have this drilled and tapped hole just underneath there because this mill come with one scale on the Y so it obviously had a kit in the past been taken off damaged not used but it didn't come with the digital readout display it didn't come with the brackets it just had the one bar attached to it so 
I couldn't quite use that hole unless we drop this here, so I've just done another one. It's not gonna make any difference, it doesn't really bother me. So that one's loosely fitted. Now we'll come along here and we'll get the other one in place as well. Drilled and tapped, eight mil. Right, so we run the table all the way to the back of the knee and this is roughly where it's sitting. So the other one, I've just done it so this was flush. So that's mounted there. I'll give this about the same gap as the other end. These are all pretty much the same. You can't really go far wrong mounting them. Again, you can see the hole from the old reader that was on here when I got it. And we are just slightly out of line. So we'll put a new one in there. Things with this, I didn't have a center punch to fit this, but what I did have was this bit of alley tube, which fits in there perfect, like so. And then I had this center punch, which is slightly too small, which then works out to be a perfect fit. So that's how I'm using it. Makes it easy for me. So I'm gonna center punch this, punch a new hole in here, drill it, tap it, and get this one loosely bolted up in place. So we drilled it, and now we're just gonna run a tap in there, try and level it up, keep it straight and level as we can. back out of there trying to hold the camera with one end because I ain't got nothing here to stand it on and get it out of the way so I'm doing this one-handed put myself a bit of cardboard under it just so when you're drilling the cast it does make a mess and it just saves you getting that everywhere blow that hole out so again, that's the old one. Shame we couldn't use it, but if it can't be used, it can't be used. We will dig out what we should have somewhere, which is these fat washers are for going on there. I'll screw this one in. Actually, before we do that, we will put that in there. So, just sits out enough on that to still, still allow us to get a spanner on it. Tighten that up, and that's all loose. And now we'll run that back and forward till it's in the right place, and we can snug up all the eight mils, tighten them up, and then that one should be good. Run the table back and forwards once they're tightened to make sure it doesn't feel like it's binding. Because if this is running off to one side, 
and it's not level obviously it'll be okay one end and as you come to the other it's going to tighten up as the bar's pulling in so we'll just double check that and once that's good that's that one done on to the next one so we're on this side is done and mounted that's all tightened up that's all good ignore the cable because obviously we ain't done nothing with the cables yet but that side is good got a bit of clearance under there so now for the guard or for the shield it's not going to rest on that i'm going to sit it just a tad higher so it's just got the clearance under there that you can see but i'm going to have it roughly level with the end there so i'm just going to drill a hole here mark it mark it drill it and then do the same the other end then i'll mark the casting and i'll mark it in here drill and tap it and do the same thing and then i'll uh, i'll bring you back when that's done So we got this end mounted on, drilled, tapped, and we got the socket cap in there. And that's tightened so we can get this one. Obviously where the surface isn't straight, it's springing out, but it gives us the room we need to just mount that. We can just push that back. one-handed and make the tiny little mark we need in pen in there and I'll unscrew that drill and tap this side and then put them both back on and that's done completely finished see you in a sec so we're back and that is the y-axis done all mounted up the guards all on which is nice and flush with the ways but just not enough so it doesn't touch or scrape or anything like that so all fitted there's this end read ahead mounting brackets come around to the front exactly the same there's the cap heads holding with the guard on and there we have the guard down there just enough room to clear everything and just enough that anything falling off the table won't hit that would have been nice to sort of be overhanging it a bit more but unless I ever move this under or this out it covers it so I'm happy with that so next up I think we'll do the X and I'll do that as a separate video just watch it.